Good morning, I'm doing another Vinyl Finds video. It's Sunday, November 3rd, and here are a few records that I've picked up recently. Sergeant Pepper, this is from the BC-13 UK box set. This is sealed. This was imported to the United States. Supposedly, this is one of the best versions, best sounding versions of this album that you can get. Scorpions, Lonesome Crow. This is their first album. This isn't Rock You Like a Hurricane. It, this is the US version. It is on Billingsgate. Really good. This was 1972, really good rock, prog rock. It's psychedelic, I would call this psych prog. This is my favorite Scorpions, Lonesome Crow, with the Beatles. This is the UK first 1963 stereo on the yellow Parlophone. This is their second album. I grew up with the Capitol Records version, so this is different than I'm I'm used to, and I haven't spun it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I got this at that new store in Burbank, Run Out Grooves Records. With the Beatles. Rubber Soul, this is another one from 1978, BC-13 box set. It is the UK box set that was imported to the US, so still sealed. I only have a few of these. I, I really need to get the box set, but I bought these I, from Sticker Mania, a guy on YouTube, really cool guy. He does videos about his family. I'll put a link below. He sells, I think he buys on eBay, he buys anywhere and then sells them, but he, he seeks out good stuff and he packages really well. And it's, it's fun to watch his videos. He has his family up there and they just go through the different items that they've, they've acquired. And he, he also deals a lot with butcher covers. Beatles for sale. This is 1964 UK stereo copy. Found this again in Burbank as well. I've avoided all the Beatles originals for a long time. I focused on Pink Floyd UK originals and just eventually said to myself, one of these days I'll start with the Beatles and apparently I've started with the Beatles. Rolling Stones, self-titled. This is the 1967 UK mono reissue. This is probably my favorite Stones. They're very early singles, came out in 64. This is what they were competing with the Beatles. Really good stuff, really good blues, blues rock. Rolling Stones, self-titled. Nico, The Faction, this is her last studio album. This is 1985. Found this at Record Safari yesterday, which is why I went out there. It's not her best work. Chelsea Girls is my favorite album of hers, but I collect all of her albums and I did not have this one. So I'm very happy to add this to my collection. This is the Beggar's Banquet US label. 1974, Nico, The End, another solo album of hers. This is on the US Island label. Really interesting version of the Doors song, The End, and that is the title of this album, Nico. I've been looking for an OG of this for a long time. This is the Bee Gees Odessa. This is the really good early stuff. What is this, 68, 69? This is the 2009 RTI pressing. Kevin Gray cut it. This has the felt cover, which I've been looking for an OG. I have an OG, but not with a really clean cover and really clean vinyl. And I found this over at Permanent Records. It's a two record set. Really good stuff. I'm looking forward to busting this open and playing it. Odessa. The last record I have is the Dead Kennedys, Fresh Fruit for Rotting Vegetables. This is the first cover that came out that the band did not approve of. It immediately was withdrawn and they had the other cover. 
It's supposed to come with a poster. It doesn't have the poster, but this was also at Record Safari yesterday. Dead Kennedys. That's my vinyl finds for today. I've got a bunch of other stuff coming in, and I'll probably have another one of these by the end of the week. Have a good one.